Hi friends, so I am back here with my new video on the topic solid state. So I will discuss this topic in different sections. I will explain in detail. So if you are interested, then you will cover the detailed video. But I will also create a short video of the important topics for the CBSE exam or for AIEEE, MCQ, etc. Solids are the substances which have definite volume and shape. Whereas in contrast, liquid and gases do not have definite volume and shape. If we press a solid, it is rigid, it can't be pressed. Whereas liquids and gases have the flowing property. So these are called fluid. This is mainly because of the intermolecular forces. The constituent particles of solids are held together by strong intermolecular forces. Therefore, they are present at fixed position. The fluidity of liquid and gases is due to the fact that their molecules are loosely held together by weak forces and their constituent particles are free to move about. The study of properties and structure of solid is important for scientists due to their many applications. Different technologies are used to study the structure of solids like XRF, XRD technique to study the crystalline structure of the solid and to determine which of the metals are present in these solids and what is their actual geometry. We can find out with the help of the XRD that is X-ray diffraction technique. The correlation between structure and properties of solid help in development of new solid material with desired electrical and magnetic properties such as high temperature superconductors, biodegradable polymers or surgical implants, etc. So as we know that polymers like polyethylene which we use in our day-to-day -day life is very hazardous to environment. So this is the new trend to search a polymer which is biodegradable. So in many industry, these biodegradable polymers are being used. So the disposal of this waste is not hazardous. So it does not possess any threat to our environment and it will support a sustainable development. Under a given set of temperature and pressure, the most stable state of a substance depend upon mainly two forces. First is intermolecular forces and second is the thermal energy. So as we know that the intermolecular forces tend to keep the molecules together while the thermal energy increases the speed of the molecule and it tends to move the molecules apart. As we know that at low temperature, the thermal energy of the molecule will be low. So the intermolecular forces will be strong and the molecule will be very closely placed to each other and the substance will be preferably solid. So uh, it is evident that as the temperature increases, the thermal energy of the molecule will increase and they will move farther from each other. So they will melt into liquid and further they will evaporate into the gases as the temperature increases. So let's just quickly recall what are the main characteristics of solids. They have definite mass, volume and shape. That is when they are pressed, they are rigid and they do not change their mass, volume or shape. The intermolecular distances in solid are short and that is why the intermolecular forces are strong. The constituent particles of solids that is atom, ions or molecule have fixed position and they can only oscillate about their mean position. Solids are almost incompressible and rigid. Try to press any kind of solid that is present around you that is the pen or paper or laptop. Try to press it. You won't be able to press it it proves that it is rigid. The density of solid is greater than that of liquid and gases. So we know density is equal to mass divided by volume. So as the denominator volume of a solid is low, imagine you can spread one glass of water, you can spread a certain volume of air and you can place a piece of cloth. You will eventually see that the piece of cloth or eraser will occupy the smallest space. So it has the smallest volume. Evidently the density of the solid is high. Solid diffuses very slowly as compared to liquid and gases. If you tend to spread any kind of liquid or you ignite an incense stick, the molecules will spread quickly in the atmosphere. But if you place a solid and will try to diffuse it, first you'll have to melt it and convert it into the liquid state. Then only you'll be able to diffuse it in the environment. Last but not the least, most of the solid melt into the liquid when heated at higher temperature. As explained, their thermal energy become high, so the intermolecular forces become weak and the temperature at which they change into liquid is called melting point. And different solids have different melting point. We'll know in detail about this characteristic of the solid later. Thank you. Have a nice day.